Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in Philippians chapter 4 verse 18, Romans chapter 3 verse 12, and James chapter 2 verse 19. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for showing us the way um, through your son, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Philippians chapter four, verse 18. I have received full payment and more. I am well supplied, having received from Epaphroditus the gifts you sent, a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. All right, and so this is Paul, and he is receiving gifts from the church of Philippi. And so, um, here this specific verse um he's letting them know that he received this gift and that god sees that gift right and and that is a fragrant offering and an acceptable sacrifice and pleasing to god and so for us specifically you know this is a part of the do you're doing for others you're doing unto others as you would have them do unto you they are um for for this specific verse you know it's very important that we not just use our words we have to have our deeds aligning with our words we have to make sure that we are doing for others right and he's saying that it's a fragrant offering a a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God right for us to do for one another if you know of a missionary or if you know of any other brethren who might be in need or or need a place to stay or they are having troubles or issues it's up to us to do our best to help them in whatever way possible that the lord is leading us to amen all right the second scripture that the lord gave me is romans chapter 3 verse 12 all have turned aside together they have become worthless no one does good not even one all right and so this is speaking of the fact that we are to do our best to stay in the will of the Father. Why? Because no one does good, right? All are worthless. All have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. So we need that righteous covering of Christ Jesus. We need to abide in Christ. We need to let him be Lord over our lives. And that is going to help us to not worthless right that's going to help us to be covered and atone for for our sins and so um this this is letting us know that you know some have turned aside and some are worthless and not doing good but at least we as believers who come under this righteous covering um can continue on in faith and do our best right um we can start sending things to others helping others um blessing others with food and clothing and shelter and doing all those things that the do requires it is all have turned aside that's their due their due is not of god it's it's a, a due of self and turning away from god this is all have turned aside together they have become worthless no one does good not even one all right and so the third verse that the lord gave me was james chapter 2 verse 19 you believe that god is one you do well even the demons believe and shudder all right and so this is speaking of the fact that you know Just because you say Lord, Lord doesn't mean he is Lord, right? He is Lord to those um, who have received him as Lord in their heart and believe that thing. And and that is counted unto them as righteousness, right? Because Christ covers for their sins. But it's also about the walking in out, walking out your faith, 
doing the will of the father um, it says you believe that god is one you do well even the demons and even the demons believe and shudder so the the enemy is is always going to try to make himself known um but not in a way that is obvious, right? He is going to make himself known through people and their words and and their standing and opposing against you. But if you are on the enemy's side, you know, how will you even know? Because he's not going to make it apparent enough for you to be able to, you know, say, oh, I need to switch back sides. God is wanting us to be doers that is a wonderful evidence of who you belong to right it is a wonderful evidence of how you are to stay and stick with God let your do align with what you say Christ says that if you love me then keep my commandments and he is wanting that from us today amen all right you guys let's pray Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for showing us that we need to be showing concern for others and we need to let our do align with our words of faith. Lord, help us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you um have prayed that prayer, I mean, if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, Go ahead and pray this prayer with me, but more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross, and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. Um, if there's anybody out there who would like to rededicate their lives, maybe you're in a black backslid slid and stay, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I turn back towards you. I submit myself to you. Lord, I see that there are people who are in need. Help me to meet their needs. Help me to walk in your ways. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If you have um if you would have prayed that prayer, then God is with you. He sees you. He is going to help you. Amen. If you're sincere about turning back to him, then he's going to help you. Amen. All right, you guys. Um, one of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out. Find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Um, and last but not least, not least, go out and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.